And this quote is about a young man. It was a young lawyer in New York. He'd married a beautiful girl. And they had a lovely daughter. And then suddenly, she died. And this is what he wrote. This was in his diary. He said, she was beautiful in face and form and lovelier still in spirit. As a flower she grew, and as a fair young flower she died. And when my heart's dearest died, <clears throat> died, the light went from my life forever. He thought the life gone from his life forever, but he went on. It's only a beginning, always. The young must know it, the old must know it, because the greatness comes not when things go always good for you, but the greatness comes and you're really tested. take some knocks, some disappointments, when sadness comes. Because only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. Always give your best, never get discouraged, never be petty, always remember, others may hate you, those who hate you don't win unless you hate them, and then you destroy yourself. That a lobster is a soft bushy animal that lives inside of a rigid shell. That rigid shell does not expand. As the lobster grows, that shell becomes very confining. And the, kind of the lobster feels itself under pressure and uncomfortable. Casts off the shell and produces a new one. Well, eventually, that shell becomes very uncomfortable as it grows. And the lobster repeats this numerous times. The stimulus for the lobster to be able to grow is that it feels uncomfortable. Now, if lobsters had doctors, they would never grow because as soon as the lobster feels uncomfortable, goes to the doctor, gets a Valium, gets a Percocet, feels fine, never gets off its shell. So we have to realize that times of stress are also times that are signals for growth. And if we use adversity properly, we can grow through adversity. These things happen to you and you think you've been dealt a terrible hand or you've had bad luck. And when you just go with it, there's a, you just start improvising, uh, suddenly you realize that uh, you stumble upon some of the best things that have ever happened to you. He thought the life gone from his life forever, but he went on. Sometimes, yeah, you've got to cut 
a little piece of yourself off, yeah, no matter how much it hurts, in order to grow, yeah, in order to move on. I read some words that I found extremely powerful that I've been carrying with me uh, ever since. It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles. Or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does always actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst If he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. You will have good days and you'll have bad days. But you will always learn something more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. I'm here to say you will make mistakes along the way. You will fall down. I have many times. Even Ali did. But what we do after that fall is how we make history because impossible is nothing. These are words to remember when anyone tries to tell you to give up, tell you to give in because whatever you're trying to do is impossible. The champ said this. Impossible is just a word thrown around by a small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact. It's an opinion. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. Muhammad always predicted from a small boy that he would be the world's heavyweight champion. He always said, told the kids in the neighborhood, I'm gonna be champ of the world, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Chicken Soup for the Soul was rejected by 144 publishers. 144 publishers said, we don't want to publish a collection of short stories. Now, have you ever told someone your dream and had them laugh out loud? He laughed out loud. Now, if we had given up after 100 publishers had said no, I wouldn't be standing here today. And so you've got to be willing to persevere. Because we didn't take no. See, when the world says no, you say next. I think the biggest disability that we have as human beings is unbelief. So, what we have is this endless possibility, but you have to persevere. It's as if the universe tests our commitment. And so, today we have 147 titles in print. We sold over 115 million copies. We're in 47 languages.
Everything starts with a vision, and the man without vision dies. A brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit is ring the bell. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to wake up at five o'clock. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to be in the freezing cold swims. Ring the bell, and you no longer have to do the runs, the obstacle course, the PT, and you no longer have to endure the hardships of training. All you have to do is ring the bell to get out. If you want to change the world, don't ever, ever ring the bell. I have to shut it all out. The noise, it's loud. You have to cancel out the noise and remember that it's your thoughts that matter. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. This is my moment for me. You will learn more about yourself, you'll learn more about relationships, you'll learn about life and principles, and it'll build your character. So if you're willing to decide what you want, believe it's possible, consciously envision the future, feel the feelings of what it would feel like if you had achieved this goal, you can have anything, and then you take action. I am the greatest. Even though uh, I was having these troubles at home, and even though I had no real, I had no job, no you know what I mean, or whatever, didn't know what actually what I was doing. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But I still was able to feel like it was. Isn't it like a kid would use his imagination? I was basically just using my imagination. Some people can see farther than others. We all live in our own world of limitations. Some people can see farther than others. I have a big vision. I, I put a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifice in things I do. If I don't do it, it means I don't believe in it. In this, I believe very strong, and I will not give up until I'm top of the world. So that's the way it works. You aim for the top, you don't aim for the second. Second place is the first place among the last ones. And that's not my target. I try to do it almost every day. This is why I'm in the top level many, many years. Because I do it extra outside. When I'm 12 years old, most of the people told me, Christian, you are a very, very good talent player but you are very skinny, very slim. And I put it in my mind, the body we can improve. You can improve, you go to gym, your dedication and hard work, you can improve. So I have improved myself. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. You truly believe in it. If you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <coughs> become reality. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience. It. Everyone's unique, you know what I mean? You take, like Bruce Lee said, you take from, from everyone. 
and you use what is useful and you discard what is not and you add what is uniquely your own. Having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. People who, 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 who go against the odds, I suppose, you know, people who do stuff that hasn't been done before and people who do stuff that people say they can't do. That, that inspires me. Hard workers, people, people that are chasing their dream no matter what people are saying, no matter what people think. It is a lot of people just go do what they feel like they should do and, and live with the status quo and, and you know, go live by all these rules and hey, this is going to be okay. You know, just go accept your, your average nine to five rather than striving for something because the ultimate goal isn't to succeed or fail. The ultimate goal is to give it everything you have for something that's on your heart and a dream and pursuing that. And if you get to live out your, your dream every single day, then the result doesn't matter. I can look back 20, 30 years from now and be able to look at this time and say, you know what, I gave everything I had. Dreams are based on something that's in your heart, that are passions, that are something that you want to go try, not on chances. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and then uh, come back. If you can see it here and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. I'll never lose the fight. It's impossible. Tell him. It's impossible. Never lost the fight in your life. Ask any of my fans when was the last time they lost. I'm too fast. Champion for I'm the, the king. king of the the if you like to lose your money, be a fool and bet on Sunday. Saying I'm gonna do something, saying putting it out there for the world to see, and then going out and doing it. There's no better feeling in the world than that. And it's as easy as that. Say what you're gonna do and go and do it. I still envision two and possibly three belts. I'm gonna go with Eddie Alvarez in the main event. Eddie? I don't see how Connor can beat a heart like that. I think uh, Alvarez wins. I think Eddie has all the tools to, to get the job done. The notorious Connor McGregor! Three quarters of a mile, the effort was still barely perceptible. The time was three minutes, 0 0.7 seconds. A four minute mile was possible. Somehow, to do it, I had to run the last lap in 59 seconds. I felt that the moment of a lifetime had come. Those last few seconds seemed never ending. The faint line of the finishing tape stood ahead as a haven of peace after the struggle. I knew I had done it before I even heard the time. I felt as if I was too close to the fail. And I remember thinking, if I can get through this, uh, it'll it may be as hard, but there's it's impossible for it to be hard. And I've had a lot of hard times since. He thought the life gone from his life forever, but he went on. When you take some knocks, some disappointments, when sadness comes, because only if you've been in the deepest valley. Can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain?